And I'm Dave, this is EW's TV Recaps for March 13th. The top 11 performed songs from the cinema on American Idol last night. And while you probably assume that means songs written specifically for movies, in Idol Land it really no. just means songs that appear anywhere within a movie whatsoever at all. Yeah, who remembers <laughs> the 27 Dresses soundtrack? Give me something from Sister Act, guys. Give me Hail Holy Queen! And my God! That said, our top 11 really got their acts together from last week's messy mm -hmm. episode, giving us some killer performances. Yeah. Here are three of the best you should go and check out right now. Caleb Johnson wins the award for best following of the judge's advice. Yes. He sang Skyfall, a complete change up from the 80s hairband genre that he usually sings, and it was amazing. It's Caleb did a great job, but the comeback kid of the night for me was CJ Harris. Mm -hmm. You know, he's been struggling to get back that momentum he had coming off of Hollywood Week, and he finally did it with his take on the Marshall Tucker Band's Can't You yeah. See. Can't you see? There's Gina Irene, who, like always, put her unique sound on Paramore's Decode, and she nailed those high notes. I think she's gonna be in the top three. Yeah, yeah, yeah. How Gina Irene was ever in the bottom, I will never, never know. know. But there are some people this week who I think should be worried. Yeah, about. like Malaya Watson yeah. and Ben Briley. And Majesty Rose, look, I love her, but if you're gonna sing Let It Go from Frozen, you have to be as good as Adele Dazeem. Right. Who do you guys think is in trouble? And who is your favorite performer of the night? Subscribe and let us know in the comment section. And follow us on Twitter.